The week that this video releases is the week that the Avengers turns 10, which is crazy to think about. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to go through the original six Avenger films that started up the MCU. And obviously, as everyone knows, that starts with Iron Man. So here we are. Iron Man is about this guy by the name of Tony Stark, and he runs a company that makes weapons. He's this filthy, rich dude, doesn't really take anything seriously. He's completely out of touch from reality. He is given a very dark and serious reality check by being shown that the weapons that he is making with the intent of being used for good and good hands, primarily the United States military, is actually being slipped under the table to some not so great people. So he decides it's time to do something about it. As he says in Iron Man 2, he privatizes world peace by becoming the invincible Iron Man. And so ultimately what we have here is a surprisingly deep character driven film about, as I already said, a very out of touch rich dude who has a very dark dark reality check. And it's mixed quite perfectly with the elements of a superhero film because he is a superhero. So yeah, Iron Man, the first thing that jumps out at me is that character driven plot, something that I think was written and executed very well, obviously with the help of the cast, most importantly, Robert Downey Jr. It's been said before, so I'm not adding anything to this conversation, but man, RDJ was born to play Tony Stark. I mean, the opening scene of the film alone defines Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. It's insane to watch it and realize that, but it's so true. Like, oh, Tony Stark's a real person and he's been going by the name Robert Downey Jr. this whole time. And then you have Jeff Bridges. I love Jeff Bridges. I think he's a fantastic actor. Whenever I was a kid watching this for the first time, Jeff Bridges scared the crap out of me as Obadiah Stane. He's so intimidating. And I mean, that's the best word I can choose is intimidating. You think this guy's gonna come through the screen <laughs> and start yelling at me or something. Yeah, he does, he plays the role. I mean, I don't know anything about Obadiah Stane from the comics. I'm assuming that he played it pretty accurately, but whether he did or not, his role in this film is just so well acted. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a bunch of scraps. And obviously Robert Downey Jr. and Jeff Bridges work great together. It's kind of funny because they were able to mask it as like this almost like an uncle nephew relationship, which is overshadowed with business. It feels like they're kind of related in a sense, like they have that family feeling, but it's mostly business relationships. So there's that conflict there. So yeah, Jeff Bridges and Robert Downey Jr. They did great together. And I think the number one thing that I always get out of watching this movie has to be the visual effects. Now, I don't know what the ratio of of practical and visual effects was whenever making this movie. I'm pretty sure they had something to stand in as the suit or at least most of it. And then they just touched it up with visual effects. But it is so refreshing going back and watching this movie because the suits look so much more realistic than what they have in recent films. That's one thing that always bothered me in Infinity War, but it was actually kind of like a conflicting thought too. Whenever he revealed his nanotech suit in Infinity War and it was spreading over his body and then you saw the finished product the very first time watching that movie i was like oh that's yeah that's neat but then i started kind of thinking it looks a little fake why does that look so unfinished and i was just kind of sitting there i was like ah no it looks because like my brain was like okay these are professionals i'm watching a multi-million dollar film right now by one of the biggest production companies out there. They've been doing this at that point for 10 years. They know what they're doing. The CGI looks fine. No, it, it doesn't look <clears throat> imperfect or unrealistic. Why would it? It's Marvel, right? A couple rewatches later and I, I just, it grew worse, my feelings, which actually I'm talking about Infinity War right now. And now that I remember, my first thoughts of that were in Civil War. Whenever I first watched Civil War opening night in the theaters, I didn't have a single thought like that in my mind because I was focused on what was going on. It was super energetic that night. Everyone was so ecstatic, mostly because Spider-Man was officially with us. So I wasn't thinking at all about the visual effects. But as time went on, I would rewatch Civil War and I'd be like, man, I, I really don't like that, that Iron Man suit. Like that doesn't look very crisp. It, it bothers me. The new visual effects just bother me. Sometimes they're really good. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I love them. Don't even notice it. But other times, whenever it shows up, it's just, uh. but yeah, that is kind of a nice little take me back thing with Iron Man. And I don't intend for this to be like bashing Marvel and where they are now. I, I don't, you know, I'm not meaning it to be that way. I'm just, I'm ultimately praising what they did in Iron Man back in 2008. And the fact that it was 2008 and it looks so good. 
and so real. It's very impressive, and that's just something that I love about this movie. Really, there's not much that I don't love about this movie. I mean, like I said, it, it's a very grounded film. It's very deep, so you're not just watching it for entertainment's sake. I mean, you get plenty of entertainment out of it. Even if you turn it on just for that, you end up being drawn into this larger thing and this story about a guy who's getting a reality check and how he deals with that reality check, and it's very interesting, and it gets everything off to a great start. So yeah, Iron Man. Iron Man, it's just, it's a treat. It really is. It the MCU kicked off with a perfect start. John Favreau did great with the direction. The visuals in this film, that is one thing I want to bring up. The visuals in this film are beautiful. That realistic suit, the real well, realistic suits, I should say. Just everything about this film is so well crafted. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I out of the how many films are there in the MCU now? Is this the number one choice I have on going back and rewatching? Not always, but whenever I do, it is an absolute treat and it's always worth it. So I am gonna say that Iron Man, I give it a medium rewatch probability. So yeah, it has officially begun my reviews of the original Avengers films leading up to the Avengers for its 10 year anniversary, man. 10 years. It's crazy, isn't it? So yeah, if you're interested in joining me for my reviews of the rest of the Marvel films leading up to the Avengers, including the Avengers itself, be sure to stick around. Also, because it's May, so that's basically Star Wars month, I have a ton of Star Wars related videos going up as well. This first week of May and the last week of May coming up are just really busy weeks. So there's a lot of videos going up. I mean, we got Marvel. Oh yeah, Doctor Strange is coming up too. Gonna have a Doctor Strange review going up. The first one and Multiverse of Madness. So we got that. We got a ton of Star Wars stuff. We got Stranger Things. And then what? What else oh yeah top gun finally so yeah that sounds like something you're into hop along hit that little subscribe button and the bell to stay notified because let's face it youtube kind of you know they're unorganized with their notifications so i just have a feeling the fact that i'm almost going to be doubling my amount of uploads this month they're not going to be very on top with letting you know so you might want to hit the bell just to make sure you're on top of the videos if you want to that is i mean you know i'm not forcing you to do anything and this has officially gone on too long so yeah those are my thoughts on iron man but now it's your turn let me know your thoughts on iron man in the comments below and while you're scrolling if you enjoyed this video consider leaving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more like it but most importantly thank you for watching and most most importantly have a great day